The next section on the Fire e Server Control window allows you to perform two different types of updates for your Fire e XF server. The first is the Fire e Online Updater, which is used to update the Fire e XF server software itself. The second is the Fire e Profiles Updater, which is used to download calibration files and ICC media profiles for various supported printers. Now, in prior versions of Fire e XF, a single update could be downloaded and used to update both the Fire e XF client and the server. With the release of Fire EXF 7, the client has been replaced with Fire Command Workstation. Fire Command Workstation has its own separate update procedure that is explained in the course Maintenance 301, Fire Pro Server and Fire EXF Server Maintenance. You will no longer find updates that include both the server and client components. If I click on the Fire Online Updater option, the updater window will launch. If I click Next, as long as this computer has internet connectivity, it will check the EFI server for available software updates. If these updates have not already been installed on your system, you will be alerted and you will be able to download them and install them. Because the system is up to date, no available updates are displayed and I can simply click Finish. Whenever updates are made available, the command workstation interface will display a small tag that will notify you about the availability of a client update, whereas server updates will be highlighted in Fiery Server Manager itself. In order to set up your Fiery system when adding a printer, you will need to have installed on your system at least one calibration set, which consists of a calibration file and a corresponding ICC media profile. Just as with the online updater, you will need to have internet access on this computer in order to perform this task. If you click on the Fiery Profiles updater, and then click Next on the warning panel that appears, a window will appear that will allow you to select which calibration files and ICC media profiles that you would like to download and install. If in Command Workstation you begin the creation of a printer and then find that you have no calibration files and ICC media profiles available, rather than canceling the procedure, use Fiery Server Control to download at least one set of files, wait a short while for the client and server to sync up, and you will be able to continue with the printer configuration once the calibration file and ICC media profile combination is detected and selectable in the appropriate drop-down menu. I'll click on the little plus icon next to one of the ViewTech sections and then select the ViewTech LX3 Pro option. On the right is a list of the available media profiles. If I select the top checkbox, all of the profiles will be selected. Or I can individually select which profiles I want to download. Again, remember that what you are downloading is at minimum two items, a calibration file for a particular media for specific ink on a specific media and an associated ICC media profile. For this particular printer, each of these pairs of files is listed separately. If I go to an Epson listing, and select one of the printers, you will see individual media listed. If you were to select one of the listed media, the system may download multiple sets of calibration files and ICC media profiles supporting various resolutions. After selecting your desired profiles, clicking on the download button will download all of these selected files, automatically install them on your system, making them available for use. When the downloader completes its task, I can click Finish. The final option available in the Updates section is Show Installed Updates. Click on this option and you will see a list of installed software updates. Currently, there are no updates installed as no updates have been made available at this time for Fiery XF7. I'll close this window to return to the Fiery Server Control window.